go. Bringing it back, it's the NRW. As always, we give you the NW. I, I brought it in nice and slow this go. Did, 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 did I just throw y'all off? Smooth like said, a hot knife through butter. The NRW. <laughs> 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 a little more to them. The NEW. Yes. What's going on, y'all? I am Patrick Michael Strange, and I am excited and delighted and joined by some amazing friends. As always, mm -hmm. I have to my left, which would be the right, I think, on the screen. <laughs> I don't know. CC the Geek, what's up, girl? How are you? Chilling how, how you been since last time we saw you? Things are good, you know, just working on Creatives Con and flying and traveling flying. as always. I'm all over the place. She yeah. had to check out Houston. Oh. <laughs> I was in Austin. Huh? It's it's close together. It's, it's in Texas. <laughs> it's like three hours It's apart. all the same. When you're in Texas, it's all the same. It's all the same. <laughs> Believe me, I came from there. <laughs> it's um, true. It's true. So, introducing the last guy on the panel from Texas. Our man Lewis Bailey from uh, NRW Games and KPRM Gaming. What's up, guys? That's right. How you been? I've been growing out my beard and playing Final Fantasy XIV, and uh, I'm going to be throwing some inputs on what I feel about kind of each stage, like every 10 lovers or so. Okay. I'm going to give like, everybody to the a channel. Bit. Coming soon, yeah. Okay. And for, well, for one thing, I know uh, for all of us, well, not you, you weren't here. Because uh, you were busy traveling. But uh, Mary Ann behind, oh, shout out to Mary Ann behind the camera, as always. Gringus. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> um, this past weekend was WrestleMania. We got into some wrestling, right. brother. That, that, oh, yeah. That was, oh, yeah, badass. <laughs> uh, I know CC's a little bit into wrestling. I as am. Well. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it's it's damn true. Week. You should do the current angle. It's true. I'm it's true. It's damn true. Around. Yeah, and and shout out to uh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get his name wrong. Ke Ke Kofi, Kofi Kingston, Kofi, new WWE champion, best, yep. best fight in the entire set for you all night. That was hands down best fight all night. Okay, and that, we also had Seth Rollins now the Universal Champion being Brock Lesnar. Wow. Um, yep. uh, our Which women's was... tag team champions uh, Sasha and Bailey, the Huggin Boss Connection, lost their belts to the Iconics. Him. Yeah, that yeah. was kind of something. Uh, what else did we have? Uh, uh, we we Drax. Had, we had Batista take against out. Triple H. Yeah, Drax. Uh, wow. Drax versus Triple H, which Drax lost. Yes, his but, retirement. Yep, and wow. his retirement, which I think is a good thing, so Batista can just focus on movies where he belongs. <laughs> now, I agree on that because he really didn't play off that well on the fake hammer. If you did watch it, there was. A fake sledgehammer yeah. and a real sledgehammer. But I, I will yes. say, I like Triple H, how he sported the Kratos beard. That I is true. Like, <laughs> you look so can, much like Dad Kratos. Can we get a God of War film with uh, Triple H as, as Kratos? Oh, he would look yeah, perfect. Exactly. Totally I don't perfect. know if he has the acting... Well, he, he acts as a wrestler, but, you know, can he act like a full feature film? He, he just oh. needs to get the boy down. <laughs> um, yes. Who else who were some of the, the, the results from... Um, we had... Mary Ann's throwing me off. The man. The man, oh, yes, the man. man. Oh, my God. Oh. The, 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 the name of Vince. Yeah, I can't believe. Girl, I can't believe it, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that was... I, right now, for wrestling, for me, is the women's division... And sure. we had, a, in the main event, for the first time ever, a female-led main event yep. with Ronda Rousey, uh, the champion, as well as uh, Charlotte Flair, who is a champion. One is like the SmackDown belt, and one is like the Raw belt. There's two different shows, yep. and each of them have a different champion. So we had Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair, two champions, going against Becky Lynch, who is uh, one of the hottest wrestlers in the biz right now. Which uh, and she goes by the man, which I yeah, love. The man. Because you know it's it's infamous that men are you gotta be the man. Right. So I right. love that a woman is like, you know what? I'm, I'm the, the man. man. Right. Yep. You know what I'm saying? She just claimed it. And she, oh, and and she you, took that right. Marianne now. finally looking up you need to see that clip. There's a when Becky Lynch started first getting that real push, mm -hmm. uh, there is a match that happened and uh, she accidentally through the match got her nose bloodied by Nia Jax. But she carried on with it like nothing's business. And that had to be the most hardcore thing I've seen in wrestling for in a while. Oh, and she was yeah. just like, you know what? I'm just going to own this bloody nose and just handle business. I, uh, but Becky Lynch, main event, took uh, both titles. She is both the Raw and SmackDown champion. Props to that girl. Definitely. Here for it. And yes. speaking of hardcore, I think the most hardcore thing we saw was Triple H pulling out Batista's oh, yeah, nose was kind of <laughs> like, just ripping it out like, ah. 
Like, but everything else kind of seemed a little bit tame. Like, very... It's been a while since I've seen wrestling. Back from the WWF Attitude Days, where there was blood every single night. Like, excessive amount. Very we saw a little bit here, but it's... It's grown a lot tamer for what I felt, but it's still very fun. Yeah, to we watch. don't need a gratuitous blood as we used to. Yeah. So, but yeah. there's some really great wrestlers nowadays, and yeah, and you guys kind of got the bug now. You guys, are, we're gonna probably do a little bit more wrestling on the channel. Um, I know Rest. Marianne was salivating a little bit. We're gonna do a little bit more. Oh, we also had the Hall of Fame, but we'll talk on that. We'll do a separate wrestling because I don't want to go too much into wrestling. Yeah. But yeah. WrestleMania, if you didn't catch it, uh, hopefully you have the WWE Network. It replays. It's kind of like the best deal if you're getting into wrestling. Yeah. Ten bucks a month. Uh, shout out to WWE Network. You get all the pay-per-views plus your additional programming and then everything. I was, nice. I was surprised because someone first told me, like, you just get the pay-per-views. And I'm like, eh, you know, I want all the WCW, all the shows. Mm. Guys, it's all there. All tapings of WCW from nine from 96 up. It is all there for 10 bucks a month. If you're a wrestling fan, this is a must-get. Definitely get it for the amount of content you get. And... So, Wrestling uh, Mania, we're going to give you more of that. Um, also, since last week, um, as y'all know, because uh, we actually didn't tape uh, uh, on our normal schedule, uh, but we did have everything come out on time because that's what we do for y'all. Mm. Me and Mac put in the hours last Sunday <laughs> to record, uh, so that way you could get our regular show and the Quirk Testament and all that, because mm -hmm. I was out in Emeryville. Yeah! Um, Emeryville, California, yeah, home of it? Pixar, y'all. Um, I got a chance to see Toy Story 4 before... Pretty much everyone with a bunch of other press outlets made a lot of great contacts and shout out to them. I've been throwing it on my IG channel, so if you want to see that on the story, some of the amazing people we've met, but got a lot of great news. Stuff I can't share because I did sign an NDA and I <laughs> was promised to not share that cool. yet. Uh, look for it on the nerdsofcolor.org, uh, our, our affiliate. Uh, I'll have a couple of articles up there for uh, the Nerds of Color, and then I'll do some also some video stuff uh, on the channel soon, but a lot of great information. To go to Pixar, to see the behind the scenes, to go through the archives, to meet all the creative uh, people that put these amazing films together. That is a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, to to you know do CGI to do this type of work is just amazing. Balls. I can't wait to share it with y'all. But um yeah, stay tuned to the channel. I got some videos that I was able to record. Did a little walkthrough of the Steve Jobs building, which is the Pixar Animation building. Yeah. That'll come Ooh. up. Um, actually, the live stream it on Facebook. So if you're friends with me on Facebook, you've probably seen it there already. Um, but just got a lot of cool stuff I can't wait to talk about. I want to share. I share, but I can't. I can't. So stay tuned, y'all. It's coming. All right? Sweet. All right, guys. Let's get into what's coming out for this week because this is why they're tuning in. This is the New Release Wednesday show, the NRW, where we give you the NEW. And this is new on Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy. Um, I first up have a film that's going to make you cry and tug at your heartstrings a little bit. Yes. And especially if you're a pet owner, I'm a dog owner. It's called The Dog's Way Home. It's about a female dog who travels 400 miles in search of her owner throughout a, a Colorado wilderness. Uh, I'm crying already. Like uh, when you lose a dog, if you lose a pet, if you you know that's woo. Yeah. And then the, and then it's, it's coming on its way back. It's it's crazy. It stars actually Judd Jonah Howard King and Edward James almost. Uh, I'm gonna have to pull out the box of tissues. I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> But this is one of those films because it's cute. It's a little puppy. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh, but I'm more like a My Little Nose rather dogs. than a Homeward Bound. Same. Yeah. You know. Exactly. Yeah. It's kind of like that same vein. Yeah. Aww. I'm looking. Yeah. I think I might have to check that out. Yeah. Seriously. Mm -hmm. My daughter loves any dog film, uh, so I, I know it's something we're catching. But yeah. we're gonna we're gonna cry buckets. Yeah. I'll be the first one <laughs> to pull out the tissues, y'all, and not for other reasons like last week. Anyway, <laughs> um, on the basis of sex. You like that transition? <laughs> the true story of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, her struggle for equal rights, and the early cases of a historic career that led to her nomination and confirmation as a Supreme Court uh, Associate Justice. It stars Felicity Jones, Army Hammer, and Justin Thoreau, the notorious one, RBG. She has a really fascinating story. I um, did a report on her when I was like in fourth grade and ever since then I just became truly infatuated with her like you want to talk about somebody who started from the bottom yeah like RBG is it she is just a phenomenal woman from Brooklyn no less yeah um so really looking forward to seeing that story nice yeah. they have a documentary I think that's on Netflix for those that want to see that as well the beyond just uh, seeing this uh film mm -hmm. adaptation uh I, I think it's just called the notorious RBG is it on Netflix or is it Hulu do you know by chance, uh, producer Marianne, we'll look that up and we'll bring that right back. But 
uh, check out that documentary. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. And I can't wait to see On the Basis of Sex. Yeah. Um, if you don't want to be inspired and you just want to clear your head and you don't want to cry, <laughs> I have uh, from Funny or Die fame, from SNL fame, comedy legends. Uh, they first appeared and made us laugh in Talladega Nights as a twosome, mm-hmm. um, but they're now back with Holmes and Watson, uh, a hilarious take on Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Are you ready for John C. Riley and Will Ferrell? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, no. <laughs> I can't see what you're writing, Marianne. No, uh, that was on Hulu. Oh, Hulu. Okay, Hulu. Hulu my, my producer, Marianne, off to the yeah. side. <laughs> Catch uh, RBG on Hulu. Uh, no. Uh, and and the the trailer. You're, you're looked, done with them, or you think you got everything from the trailer? I think I got everything I need from the trailer. Yeah. I get. I I see it's slapstick. It's their old humor, and it's Jones and Watson. And I read I read the synopsis on it. I'm like, okay. Like, nah, nah. What about you, Cece? I like them together. You yeah. know, I think I would want to see it just because it's fun, and mm-hmm. like you said, it's not something that you have to. Not saying that I don't like to think, but you don't have to. Yeah, it's a, it's an enjoyable and entertaining movie, and I think the two of them have great chemistry together. Yeah, and I haven't yeah. seen them two together, those two together in a while. Yeah, in a movie, so that would be kind of interesting to see how they both developed as actors. Definitely, and I hear what you're saying, uh, Lewis. But yeah, sometimes you do need to clear your head, um, and I think this might be the ticket. Yeah, I just want something different from them. Like, okay, mm-hmm. like great chemistry, just do something different. Fair enough. All right, what else do we have coming to theaters there, Lewis? Theaters, I think uh, probably the number one thing everybody's been kind of hyping up about and kind of wondering about is going to be Hellboy. That's coming out this Thursday. Yes. Uh, This is from director Neil Marshall. Stars David Harbour. He's going to be our Hellboy instead of Ron Perlman. Uh, Everybody's kind of having mixed reactions about this. I'm a little curious myself, so we'll see how this Hellboy Iteration does. I do want to shout out Daniel Day Kim, uh, who uh, I forgot what characters he's playing, but initially not cast. Um, but there was controversy because it is an Asian character. They cast somebody of a different persuasion, and the fans uh, it came to action and got us Daniel Day Kim. And if you're a fan of Daniel Day Kim, you'll understand why. He's an amazing actor, but happy to see him in the role. And I'm interested. It, it looks. I'm curious because it's not Ron Perlman, it's David yeah. Harbour. That's kind of like my big thing, but I'm still going to check it out. Yeah, it looks that, great. It's Hellboy, man. Yeah, exactly. Uh, next up, we have, probably for the kids, we got Missing Link. This is the claymation animation film that's actually starring two high cast members. One, we have Hugh Jackman uh, in the role, as well as Zach Galifianakis. So, kind of seeing these two opposite personalities together yeah. in, <laughs> in a single movie, that's kind of interesting to see. Oh, yeah. But they both do very good work. So, mm-hmm. you know, for the kids, this is PG. Definitely a fun film for them to watch. Uh, uh, probably after that, as probably one of the top films to watch this weekend, Little. Uh, this is a comedy fantasy romance story. Uh, it's about a woman who turns into her younger self. She's this high-strung businesswoman, black woman, that turns into a little kid, and just <laughs> hilarity ensues. Uh, stars <laughs> Re- uh, Regina Hall, Isa Rae, Mar- uh, Marseille Martin, and Justin Hartley. Um, if you've seen the trailer, you're probably already hooked and wanting to see this one, because even myself, I'm like, I'm sold. Let- yeah. Let's watch this. It's the new big, y'all. Yeah. It's the new big, but, but back. <laughs> um, kind of on the lesser note sides, uh, we have After. Uh, this is a romantic drama where a young woman falls for a guy with a dark secret and the two embark on a rocky relationship. It's based on the novel by Anne Todd. Hmm. Stars uh, Hero Finesse Teffen, Selma Blair, Josephine Langford, and Jennifer Beals. Or Jennifer Beal. Beals? Beal. <laughs> I don't know. It's one of those things. Uh, we have Girls of the Sun uh, coming out, another drama war movie. Uh, Kurdish female battalion uh, prepares to take back their home from extremists, so it's definitely a war film. Mm. Uh, we have uh, Wild Nights with Emily, PG-13. It's a comedy uh, about a little-known writer of Emily Dickinson's life. Uh, in particular, this story focuses on her relationship with another woman. What? So, kind of a little Black different. 
a little different <laughs> Starring Molly Shannon, who is quite a great actress and does some unique work, so probably get some good results there. Uh, and probably last on the list, we have A Dark Place. This is a mystery thil- uh, thriller where a young boy goes missing in a sleepy backwoods town and a local sanitation driver plays detective to try to find this little boy. Stars uh, Simon Fellows, uh, Andrew Scott, or uh, it's directed by Simon Fellows, my bad. Uh, stars Andrew Scott, Denise Go, uh, Catherine uh, Dyer, and Jason Davis. So uh, those are probably going to be the hit films to see this weekend. Nice. So the top three events we have coming up this weekend. First up is Clexicon, multi-fan convention, um, specifically catering to LGBTQ women and their allies. So that sounds really fun. And it's in Las Vegas, which is even more fun. Um, And then also next up we have the Star Wars Celebration in Chicago, Illinois. Pretty self-explanatory. That's a whole fandom in of itself, as most of you know. Um, so get your lightsabers ready and go to the dark side or use the force, whichever wh- whichever way you prefer to use the force. And um, last but not least, we have the Great Philly Comic Con in Oaks, Pennsylvania. An awesome lineup of special guests. I was able to go last year and they had the whole cast of Black Lightning there. That was really dope. And um, shout we have a lot of friends, oh, yeah, actually, who are going to be there. guests there, too. Shout out to um, Eric the Smoke Moran, who's doing a lot of big things and making sure that they have a really well-rounded um, set of, of special guests and cosplayers, folks there. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. All right, guys. There's also <laughs> Steel City Comic Con. I think there's a, a bunch of other shows. Yeah. Uh, stay tuned to our IG Facebook. We'll have them all listed. But that is our NRW, NRW y'all. Giving you the NEW. Any last uh, things we want to push up until last next time? Words. Any last words? <laughs> <sighs> um, don't, don't drink and drive. Don't drink and don't drive. Don't drink and drive. <laughs> um, check out Creatives Con. It's um, officially sponsored by GameStop and Bushido. Speaking of wrestling, um, yeah, and just be on the lookout for good things coming from HBCU Con. All right, guys, that is our show. Make sure you tune in as always and like, share, subscribe. Help us uh, but with all of that because the more of you guys do that, the more we're able to do a lot of fun things and get things to you. All right, yeah. all right, guys. It's Patrick, CC, Lewis. Marianne behind the camera. It's the NRW, as always, giving you the N-E-W. Peace.